In this video, we will talk about concept of version control system and uh, take a look how we can organize it or take a look on options, how can be organized such a system, how can it be built. Let's, let's imagine that we have a file, we have a file with uh, our markup for HTML and uh, we have a title. We have title with such some, some value. And after that, some manager came to us and said that we should update it and uh, we have another version with a new version of this title. After that, in a couple of hours, somebody else came to us and thought that it should be changed again and it should be built dynamically. So we updated it again. And um, after that, uh, somebody came again or requirements were changed and we have a new version with the previous, the, the first one version when titles should be set dynamically hard-coded. So as a result, we can see that uh, we will have a lot of copies of uh, the same file. And uh, if you, in case you have a lot of files, you can put it in different folders and then make copies of these folders. A lot of us developers who started to just their work, they work in this, this way. They have a copy of each project, a few copies with different changes. But what's bad in this case that you have a lot of files and you do not know how it was changed, what was changed and who changed this. And uh, just opening uh, information of this folder, you can find when it was changed and maybe some comment, but it's not a good idea. After that, you can try to use some cloud systems, for example, Google Drive or Dropbox, but it, uh, not, it can't solve the issue with your coding, with your software. Because uh, when you write uh, your program, a lot, there are a lot of files, a lot of changes, and you need to sync, sync up this data, and the cloud platform doesn't work well for your code. Another option, it can be, you can try to share your file in your local network with other developers and uh, try to do a work on these files with a few different peoples. But the issue is that the uh, code will be written by another developer. For example, if you doing something and uh, you have not the last version, somebody else can rewrite this file and your version will be outdated. So it's not a good approach. But uh, what is good, it's a version control system, something like Git. So let's take a look on requirements for such system. So requirements, it should have backup and restore option. So what does it mean? It means that every, every code, that the code you are creating, it should be saved and uh, the all versions should be saved. And in any case or in any moment, you can go back to the previous version and uh, you can get the data and uh, you can get the data, especially what you need. The second item is synchronization. It should allow to synchronize work of one, two, three, fifty, or 100 developers. And uh, it allows uh, to do one work together for all developers and you should be aware and should know that your changes won't be deleted or removed somehow you can get the latest data the latest version check the difference and uh, push updated version based on the on your changes and changes you get from the server the third requirement it's uh, reverting changes so in any moment you can revert everything what you did and go to the previous version and be sure that uh, everything will work fine okay the next requirement is track changes and ownership it's a very important part so for example you open the you open file and see that there is some changes and you don't do not know how it works some complex algorithm or some difficult change you can always find uh, the ownership of these changes who did it and go to him and ask why it was implemented in such a way and what was changed and why it was changed also in this case you can ch check what specifically he changed and uh, what was before what was changed it's a very important part the next one is sandboxing sandboxing it's a place where you can put some some your ex experiments for example uh, you want to try some interesting new feature and uh, you don't want to show it for your customer or you don't want to publish in into production so you have you need um, to have a place where you can put your code you want to save it and then 
Uh, if everything is okay, you can uh, fix it or finish this work and then push to production. But uh, version control system should allow you to have such a place, such a possibility. And the last one is uh, branching, branching strategy. So you, sh you can uh, create different, uh, op different versions of your code in different branches and work on branch you need. And in the end you can merge everything together and have one the final version of your code. So version control systems, they were created many, many years ago, I guess when we just started programming and uh, we can talk about them in two options, uh, how they are working with your files. There are two popular strategies of organizing version control system. It's lock, modify, unlock strategy and uh, copy, modify, merge strategy and something between uh, something combined of these strategies it's Sven works in this way. So in the next video we will talk about these strategies and I will show how it works.